In this tutorial, we'll cover password configurations, which control the effects for a user's connected accounts when they are locked out of their JumpCloud account. In your JumpCloud Administrator console, navigate to Security Management in the left-hand menu, and then User Security Settings. Any settings configured here will apply to all user accounts within your JumpCloud organization. In the Password Configuration section, it's important to remember that a user's JumpCloud password applies to all the resources the user has access to. These configurations determine the behavior in resources like G Suite, M365, LDAP, and Radius when a user's JumpCloud password expires or the account gets locked out. Let's use G Suite as an example for the definitions. Maintain users means the user will retain access to G Suite and can authenticate, receive, and access emails. Suspend users means the user is suspended in G Suite and cannot authenticate or receive emails. Remove access means the user can no longer authenticate or access their G Suite account, but emails will be delivered to their inbox as normal. These definitions for maintain and suspend users also apply for M365. For Radius and LDAP, the options are slightly different. Let's start with LDAP configuration. When a user's JumpCloud password expires or their account is suspended, selecting Disable Users will allow the user to remain in LDAP, but they won't be able to authenticate to the LDAP service. Selecting Remove Users will remove the user from the LDAP server, preventing future authentication until enabled and reprovisioned. For Radius configuration, selecting Maintain Users will allow users to authenticate to the Radius server even if they're locked out of their JumpCloud resources. Selecting Remove Users will remove the user from the Radius server, and the user will no longer be able to access it. Check out our other videos for configurations and settings to secure your JumpCloud organization.